every codec is fine-tuned for a certain resolution and a certain application. If you're doing HD resolution or lower, there's no reason to switch away from AVC. The codecs are tested, the players work, the streams work, the DRM works, the analytics works, the advertising works. There's no reason to switch it. There's even less reason to re-encode an entire humongous library that you may already have in existence. And you can't do just-in-time transcoding very efficiently with HEVC. The killer app for HEVC has always been 4K. There's a new killer app in its arsenal, which is HDR. As 4K content grows, and it is growing, um, I have, uh, you know, I think the Indian Professional League, NASA, DirecTV Swisscom, uh, Rogers out in Canada with the National Hockey League, SkyVR with the SkyQ boxes, Dish, Telus, Orange, Vodafone, with a list of people who are launching 4K services is going to continue to grow. So HEVC is growing, but at a slow rate. HDR is also going to grow, but slowly. It's really hard to produce and create. Um, and finally, HEVC is slow. So if you were to throw CPU today at AVC and at HEVC, the gap between state-of-the-art AVC encoders and state-of-the-art HEVC encoders is not a 50% reduction or 100% reduction in bandwidth. It's 15% reduction in bandwidth. Now, AVC will hit an asymptote a lot faster. So over time, by 2018, by 2020, HEVC's side of the bargain gets stronger because it will continue to improve in compression efficiency. As of today, the gains that you're making in HEVC are more or less comparable to the gains you're making in AVC. So you have to keep that in mind as you're comparing the two as well. And finally, I know, I know there's a lot of chatter about, well, you know, if you can cut the bandwidth in half, you know, your distribution costs go down by half, that's a big deal. Um, if you've been following Dan's CDN pricing, um, CDN pricing is dropping by half. Um, the, 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 um, the spread between the highest price contracts and the lowest price contracts gets wider and wider every year. So if you can go through a wholesaler um, or if you can you know, just negotiate a better contract or if you can find a better CDN, um, it's a zero impact to the workflow method of reducing your bandwidth bill. Mm -hmm.